Barack Obama and John McCain each take three more primaries. Australia apologizes to Aborigines and a new kind of dinosaur discovered in Mexico. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. Barack Obama beat Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side, winning in Virginia, Maryland, and D.C., while John McCain beat Mike Huckabee in all three primaries as well. Barack Obama was all like, change! Ask not what your country can... <laughs> I didn't mean to directly reference, I'm just invoking. Right, here's one of my great ideas. College students, four grand for you to go to college, but we're not just giving it to you for free, no. If you give back, we'll give you the money change. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton was all like, sorry, I can't hear you. I can't hear you over the roaring crowd here in El Paso. We are going to make the minimum wage 950. Congress doesn't get a raise until America gets a raise. I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the roar of the crowd. Are you saying I didn't win? I don't know. I'm in Texas. Meanwhile, John McCain was all like, I'm here and I'm ready to fight. I stole that directly from Barack Obama, but you see what I'm flip. Yeah, that's right, friends. And Mike Huckabee was on Larry King again. He was like, yeah, I know it's impossible for me to win even if I sweep all the rest of the states, which is really not likely, but I think I would be doing John McCain a disservice if I left. I'm just gonna hang out and play the guitar, eat some squirrel. A historic apology from Australia to tens of thousands of Aborigines whose children were taken from them under the policy of assimilation. The Prime Minister of Australia was all like, all of that assimilation that we did and all the pain and suffering on the stolen generation and the, you know, snatching of your babies, not the dango, it was us. Uh, well, really? Yeah, we're sorry about that. We mean that sincerely. We're, we're really sorry. And the Aborigines were like, sorry's nice, yeah, it's good. A lot of other countries have said sorry. A lot of other ones haven't. And, you know, Canada said sorry to its native people. And the United States apologized for the internment of the Japanese. So, not the slaves. It's kind of weird. And Mexican paleontologists have discovered a new plant-eating dinosaur that was the size of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Scientists were like, we didn't expect to unearth a new dinosaur like this. Apparently his mouth was on top of his head. He was like an odd, freakish, nasal dinosaur. It was just, wow. I mean, now we've got like 10 duck-billed species in the Americas. It's amazing, right? And based on the fossil, the dinosaur was a lot like, I just want to sit on the beach and breathe out my nose. Eat some plants, man. I'm like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? But I don't want to kill a lot of stuff. I just want to be a beach bum. <sighs> And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello, and also the writer's strike is over, which is cool. And um, I just want to take a second, maybe go over a little on time here, but um, I was getting a little verklempt, um, realizing how many people were voting for me for Project Breakout. I know that I asked you to vote, and I had hoped that you would, um, but I was really bowled over by um, everybody's help. So thank you. And I really don't want to go to a convention for me. I want to do it to make an awesome show for the people who like to watch the show. So thanks for watching. Thanks for voting. Vote early and vote often. There's a link on the YouTube thingy. Here is it? It's there. And there's also a link on news.com. That's G-N-O-O-Z, like our, you know, you got it.